Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over the one skill that will make you recession proof and help you in any industry, including high paying ones like tech. Artificial intelligence, chat GPT, automation, outsourcing are going to change the way jobs work. You really won't have to worry if you know the number one skill, which is how to learn and acquire skills fast. If you're interested in starting a career in tech, I do have a free course list below, which will get you started on your journey. So some of the books that I have come across are Make It Stick. And the key points that I learned from this is that reading is a terrible way to base basically learn anything. If we look at this chart here, you only learn around five to 10% of what you read. On top of that, lectures also are a really bad way to learn. And the thing is that's how you're taught is by reading and lecturing. So how exactly can you learn better? I have been reading a book called Ultra Learning and this is how you can acquire skills faster. And the first one is by Meta Learning, which is breaking down your research into why exactly are you learning the subject that you're learning? Because if you have an extrinsic motivation, it's going to be a much different strategy than if you have an intrinsic motivation. You're just doing it for fun. If you are trying to change a career, you want to become extremely specific on what career you want, what job titles, and what skills you need. So who, what, when, and why. And then once you find that, then you can find the resources. And so when actually studying it, you really want to understand the big picture of everything. And you can do that by deconstruction, which is how small can I break things down into their basic nit of learning selection? What are the 20% of those units that will give me 90% sequencing? What is the best order to learn these things? Stakes? How can I use psychology or social pressure to condense my timeline? Which goes into the third tip is that you're going to want to put a deadline on everything that you're learning, even if it's arbitrary. This is called a constraint and a lot of the best works in the entire world were just caused because they had constraints on them. If you want to learn, say, AWS Cloud, you're going to want to give yourself a deadline of when you want to learn that by. And a really good benchmark and deadline is to take a certificate for AWS Cloud. Because you have this constraint, you're more likely to not procrastinate as much and then drag out something that you could learn in two months into two years. Which goes on to my next one is when you are reading, don't just read or do lectures, ask questions about what you are reading or listening to and write those down in say Anki cards and then do spaced repetition and active recall. It has been shown the forgetting curve, the longer you go and then have to recall that information, the more likely you are going to remember it. This is the opposite of what most people do, which is just memorize and then pound in the same thing over and over. It's also why reading is so inefficient because you don't have to actively recall that information and use it. So your retention rate is only around 5%. So it's a huge waste of time. The next thing he goes into how to learn things rapidly is to get feedback on what you're doing. Feedback is one of those things that can cause anxiety, especially if you're just starting something, but it's really important because you could just be on this rabbit hole and you won't even really know it, or you would just be doing the completely wrong thing. For instance, I just started this program called Evolve Artists and they give you feedback on every single one of your assignments. The next highly effective way to learn new things is to teach others. A lot of people think that if they don't have expert level knowledge or they haven't been working in something for 20 years, then they don't really have a capacity to teach it or they have imposter syndrome and they think that they shouldn't teach it. But in reality, you want to learn from someone that is two to three years ahead of you because they know exactly what you are struggling with. Experts are so out of touch with what's actually happening that they can't really help you that much. Also, when you are teaching someone, you learn it a lot better and you realize what gaps that you may have. For instance, I just created a video on AWS careers and I did that so then I would remember all of my research. While I am learning AWS Cloud, I plan on also teaching videos about what I'm learning. So watch out for those. The next tip how to learn things more effectively is to lean in being uncomfortable. This is actually a tip from the tools, not the ultra learning book. The most satisfying things in life usually aren't the easiest. 
when you have that feeling of uncomfortableness or pain, that is when you should lean into it more. I didn't really want to create this video, but I'm doing it in a way and I'm going to post it to the internet. And since incorporating this tip into my life, I've actually have had, I have been getting more things done in a shorter amount of time. If you're interested in learning tech and upskilling your career, I do have an entire free course list below that you can check out. And I do have a playlist on cybersecurity, IT, and a cloud if you want to check those out, if you're interested in changing your career. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.